All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to unlock and also to uh, root and install Clockwork Mod Recovery on your Nexus 7. So let's see, first thing we gotta do is we gotta go down here into settings. And, uh, sorry, settings. And go to developer options. And just make sure your USB debugging is checked. So as long as that's checked, you're pretty good there. We are also plugged in at the bottom here, as you can see. So um, make sure you go ahead and watch my other two videos on how to set up the drivers for this and make sure that's all working before you start. Um, so once you've done those things and you have USB to plugging plugged in right now, uh, we're gonna open up a program here. Let me show it to you guys. Um, let's see here. Right here, guys. Um, this file right here is the download toolkit, the install file. So once you get this installed, you know, just you make sure you have that installed. Um, what we're going to go into, though, is right here. Hang on. There we go. And this is, it's under C drive, it's under the toolkit, and then it's got this uh, application. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this application. Hit yes to run it. And then we're going to bring it over here and show it to you. So first thing you guys want to do is you want to make sure you have the right Android operating system. So you can hit change and then you can make sure you pick the right one that's on your tablet. Uh, for the next seven is what we're looking at. And you already did the driver uh, initial installation, which is my last two videos. So what we're going to do right now is we are locked, so we're going to unlock it. So we're going to hit this button. And then this kind of talks about how it's going to unlock it. It's going to reboot it and unlock it. This completely wipes anything that's on your device, so if you want to save any data or apps, you must back them up first. Um, and if you're ready to do this, then go ahead and do it. This will allow us to root and install a custom recovery system like Clock Clockwork Mod Recovery. So, we're going to go ahead and hit yes. Alright, it's checking ADB. You can kind of, you'll see it on your, on your computer. It's on my other screen. It's rebooting into bootloader. And see, so you can see right now the tablet has come up in bootloader. Um, so now it's going to try to uh, unlock. So it's checking fast boot. So that's going on. Um, fast boot status is good. All right. So here on your tablet now it says unlock bootloader may void warranty. Do you want to do this? So you need to go ahead and select yes. So on your device highlight yes and press OK. It says on your device highlight yes um, then use the power button to select so we highlighted yes it's highlighted and then we're gonna select with the power button alright so it's rebooting the device now and when it comes up you can see right here it has the unlock symbol on the, on the Google on the bottom that means your bootloader is unlocked now um, so that is the unlock process um, as you can see right here it says waiting for device to finish booting and just some basic directions um, USB debugging blah blah, blah. you are not going to read you're not going to root the process to go to root process so we want to go ahead and yeah run and do root so push OK oh wait let's let this thing wait for device to finish booting we haven't waited for it to finish booting so let's let it finish booting So it also says this thing might boot loop or look like it's boot looping, but it's really not. Um, once booted back up, through initial setup or skip through it, whichever you prefer, and then we'll go to the root, root process. So let's see what we got here, guys. I may pause and come back to this once we get to the next point. All right, guys, we went through the initial uh, setup process on this thing again. Just really quick, putting in your Google and linking it to your Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff. Um, just went ahead and made sure USB debugging was working, which is up there on the top. So you can see that it's working again. Um, so you're now ready to rip, go to the RIP procedure, so we're going to push OK on our script. And let's see what we got here. I think what I want to do is, um, yeah, we got root and permanent clockwork mod recovery or without. I'm going to do it with clockwork mod recovery. So we're going to go ahead and hit root and see what happens here. All right.
basically goes through it again. It tells you it's going to um, replace your stock recovery with Clockwork My Recovery. It's going to install SuperSU, um, the binaries, everything you need to have root on the device. Um, and then it also tells you this must be unlocked in order to work. So we're going to go ahead and push OK because we know we're unlocked. It's checking ADB again. Just device status is good. Rebooting the device in the bootloader. So we're going to see that again. All right, let's let this thing go through its process. All right, it's checking fast boot, which is good. Device fast boot status is good. Booting modified boot image to enable running privilege commands. So it's bringing that up. All right, waiting for your device to finish booting back. Here you go, you can see a little window here. It keeps coming up on my other screen, but this is what you're going to be seeing as little windows like this, these little information windows. So it's got to boot back up, which it just about has. Alright, reminding device uh, with root. So that's coming up. Pushing sue. And then pushing. setting file so you can see all these little information things are coming up renaming certain files to back extension basically so it ensures that uh, your clock your clockwork mod recovery thing sticks rebooting device in the bootloader get that thing coming up again so some different things here as this whole thing's happening your, your tablets basically in the bootloader mode um, checking fast boot Fast boot status, flashing clockwork mod recovery. That's what's going on here. Rebooting device, right there. And you can see again, we're back to Google down here. And it says waiting for um, device to finish booting back. So we're going to boot back up. And. As you can see, this is all done with this utility right here. It's an awesome utility. You can do a lot with it. You can restore yourself back to stock, OEM lock it again, whatever you want to do. All right, now we're installing BusyBox right here. That's being uh, pushed to the device. All right, to finish the process and check to make sure you have root, open sue, and it'll prompt you to update the binaries. So we're going to go ahead and do that so we can hit open. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're looking good. So we're just going to go into it says open and busy box installer free and also configure essential applet. So we're going to open sue and then we're going to open busy box and we're going to make sure we have it. So push OK. You can leave that up if you want to read the directions. You are now rooted and unlocked and clockwork mod installed. Thanks.